and decided to close things off with Billy Brown. Telling Billy she wants to be straight up, she said, I know we've been getting on really. Really well we're like bantering and laughing and stuff but from my end I've been seeing it as a friendship, nothing else. She added, to be fair, my head is just definitely still with Jack. Billy replied, well I'm glad you've told me this because at the end of the day, we ain't got long. But I appreciate you being honest. So it's all good. But back at the main villa, Jacques had made the decision to crack on with the other girls. He told the boys, I woke up in a filthy mood sulking and that. And the next minute I'm thinking, what am I doing? I'm just thinking about Paige. I'm thinking I can't be like this. It's not me. Dami Hope said. You're feeling guilty before you've even done anything. Jacques continued. I literally said to myself, I feel like this because I'm feeling about Paige's feelings. I'm not thinking about mine. Dami said. It's your own journey as well you know. Jacques went on. I need to put myself out there. How do I know if what I've got with Paige is so good if I don't even give it another chance with someone else? For me to do that, I need to crack on. I can't be sat around here and sulking for someone else. He proceeded to flirt up a storm with Molly Salmon in the pool, and locked lips with Cheyenne in the preview. However, Paige dissolved into tears at the thought of Jacques finding a better connection with someone else. Speaking about Jacques, Samuel told her, he's quite a cheeky chappy guy. What I also believe is quite clear is you, Paige, like him more than he likes you, just an observation. It's not just that alone, but he's aware of it which is why in a sense. He has had power in different ways in the relationship that you may not have realized. Samuel added, he's disrespected you in some arguments that he shouldn't have done. Now. If they put a girl in there that is confident, very flirtatious, that is as good looking as you and she applies pressure onto him, and goes forward onto him his head could potentially turn. He's just one of those that in a flirty situation, he's definitely flirting back. This left Paige wondering whether Jacques would stay loyal to her, or if he was acting differently without her in the villa. Elsewhere in the episode Andrew LePage continued to get to know Coco Lodge, saying, Tasha's not here. Coco's here and I want to focus on myself for once. Andrew told Coco, What I have with you is obviously pretty good and I do want to explore that. When asking Coco how she feels, she said, I don't really feel like there's anyone else. I didn't expect to get on with you as well as I did to be honest, it actually shocked me. Andrew went on to say. I didn't expect to get into bed with you and just literally be laughing the entire night. That's definitely something me and Tasha did not have. I've woken up pretty happy to be fair. And Tasha Gory made her own moves in Casarema, by locking lips with Billy, after admitting he was very different to Andrew. She said, me and Billy have been having quite a few conversations, I get along with him very well. We bounce off each other really, really well. Tasha continued, he's very different to Andrew. Like complete polar opposites, he has more got that playful, funny kind of side. Meanwhile, Ikan Su Kulkulalu admitted that she is starting to overthink whether or not David San Clemente will play the field while she's not around. Working out together in the gym Eakin Sue asked Gemma Owen. Do you think where me and David are quite fresh, and quite new, do you think there is a possibility that he would probably explore? Or would he have faith in me? Because I'm starting to overthink. What do you think? Gemma responded. The thing is Eakin. He swallowed his pride a little bit to make things work again. I definitely think he'll be having conversations. And I definitely think he'll be flirting but when it comes down to the final point, I would say he would stick with you. 
Ikan Su confessed. It's different when you've got that special connection. That spark where you bounce off one another. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. Peace for everyone. Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. Love Island fans were left in shock on Tuesday. When the preview for Wednesday's episode showed Jacques O'Neill going in for a kiss with new girl Cheyenne Kerr. Meanwhile, over at Casa Ama, Paige Thorne broke down as she worried that Jacques would stray after a talking to from new boy Samuel Igbiji. The paramedic, 24, resolved to stay loyal to Jacques.